Here's another home improvement tip from Todd and Todd. So Todd, how much does it cost to replace a window? Excellent question. This is the question we get most often from homeowners when they're starting a home improvement project. They want to know how, how much, much money it cost. Right. Okay. All right. Well, thing is, in order to determine the cost, there are a lot of different ways that you configure a window project. So the first step really is to have an expert come out and help you figure out what your priorities are. Okay, and the purpose of that, talk about these priorities. Give me an example. What are we going to talk about? Well, here, let's suppose that you have a home and you're planning to move within a couple of years. Okay. You might not want to put in the top grade window for in that case. Let's say you're going to stay in the home for a long period of time and you have high heating bills and you really want to maximize the energy efficiency of what you're going to get out of it. So your priorities are going to be quite different. Right. So okay. what you want to do is discuss that with an expert and so come up with an idea of a way to configure that glass back or an installation type in order to meet your goals and also your price objectives. Are, are there really that many options? I mean, let's talk about that a little bit. What I don't know if you realize this, but just in one window, there are over 50,000 different combinations to choose from in order to figure out what's the best thing for you to do. And that's, wow. yeah, wow. That's what an expert really has to help you uh, define so that it makes it easier for you to figure out what the best solution is for you in your particular situation. Okay, well, let's take a look at, at this home, for example. Right now, what we have, Todd, is we have a picture window over the top of an awning window mm. which cranks out like the one on the left right. okay so we have two sets of those in this opening and when we talk about options and these priorities that customers have in this window alone we could have put two double hung windows which are split in half and slide up and down a very common window we could have put in two casement windows right right we could have uh, gone ahead and just stayed with the with the same window system we had now right they may have decided to go with uh, different colors on the outside or inside and, and tell us what did this homeowner end up doing and, and why well interesting they decided one of the objectives here was to maximize the ventilation okay okay so that immediately uh, caused called for a style change so instead of doing four windows with two fixed ones, mm -hmm. we're going to remove those four windows and turn it into one frame of a window with two panels that slide. Okay. That's going to maximize the glass area and maximize the screen area okay. to give the most amount of ventilation. That was step one. Okay. Then the next priority that, that was chosen here was to maximize the energy efficiency in the glass. All right, so they wanted to, to, to get something that would uh, hold the heat in better, so we chose a, a triple a triple glazed glass pack called KR90, which is very efficient. Okay. Uh, so these are some of the choices. The other was uh, to configure the type of installation. Maybe you can explain a little bit better than I can on that. Sure, I, I will, Todd. And actually, before that, too, one of the things, in addition to that, the air that they were going to get into the home and uh, the energy efficiency, one of the things that they were really concerned about was to save as much on this project as they could. And, and with a style change, mm -hmm. we were able to do that. That style change was to take these four windows out and put a sliding window in, which is an economical style change. That's right. Okay, and with that savings, what we found they were able to do then is choose that very unique window installation technique that we're able to offer today, which is to take out the existing frame the, the large sill on the bottom, mm. as well as the jams on the sides and the top, and actually go back to rough opening. By going back to the rough opening, Todd, that was able to get more space, right. right? Which gave them a better view and that ventilation that they wanted, still within an energy efficient package. And then what did they do with the savings that we were able to offer? Let's talk a little bit about how much money we saved them, too. Well, I know that uh, I did a calculation on this particular window, and just changing the style from these four windows into one sliding window, we save 50%. So wow, had that's we not, a lot of money. Right, over 50%. Okay. So um, had we not made the choice here to, to take a little bit of time to really think through mm -hmm. the, this particular project, we okay. would have spent twice as much as we should have if we just said, well, how much is it? Right, to, okay. To do this. All right. So it's a good idea to slow down a little bit and right. take a little time to kind of think it through and work with a, con a consultant that's going to help you kind of like, all right, what if we did this? What if we did that? 
and these are our priorities so you really come out with the right thing the other thing they wanted to do is upgrade the um, interior moldings okay so we're able to include a you know beautiful pre-finished um, interior casing package right. so that the interior would be finished off perfectly right had we not done that right we would have had to use some uh, we'd have to retain some of that interior woodwork we'd have had to add some piece piecing in some other parts it just want to look this nice it's not it would not have been no. a finished project yeah but by being smart about the style choice the glass pack the whole thing put together they were able to achieve exactly what they wanted and save money the savings of the money i might mention too they were able to replace uh, basement windows that's correct right? um, rather than going with a glass block window they had the old traditional wood windows that uh, tilted down or or up from the bottom in the basement right and they wanted to upgrade those and the homeowners options are glass block windows which are a little bit less expensive than putting in a replacement window but because we're able to save money and economically make Y style changes in the home we were able to upgrade and put replacement vinyl windows in the basement that we call hopper windows. Right. So that was an advantage. And, and it's really hard to say that we could have accomplished all of that over the phone or in the mail with a simple estimate. Yeah, right? It's a common mistake that people make is, you know, they fail to take that first step. And that first step is so, so critical to getting it right. Mm -hmm. And that is to meet with an expert who knows exactly what they're doing. Okay. Uh, that can advise that homeowner properly to figure out what the priorities are, configure the whole project to minimize the cost. That's the right. on That's everybody's important. mind, That's especially absolutely. today. Sure. We want to minimize the cost, but we don't want to jeopardize the whole project by putting the wrong thing in. After all, these are permanent. Right. You put the windows in, you're That's done. It. You've got one shot. You got one shot to get right. it right. The worst thing you can do is put the wrong thing in and then hate it. A regret. <laughs> a right? regret and then go, oh, I really should have done it this way. Wish and then I you would've. wasted all that money. Yeah. You want to get it right the first time. So our advice and our tip here mm -hmm. is slow down. <laughs> have an expert come out, figure it out, help you figure it out, get the right, uh, get the right configuration, figure out what your priority is priorities are right Todd yeah and and it really doesn't matter Todd would take this advice whether you're looking at a, a roofing project a siding project could be entry doors or maybe even gutters or gutter protection for your home if you want to find out how much it is do yourself a favor just go ahead and set up that consultation by filling out the form right here on our website